I've watched, I've watched for five minutes. I've tried to shut up. Even, this, even though this is a, a warm-up practice, what a lot of you are doing is anticipate being on your toes. Flat-footed stuff, get it out of your system. Doesn't happen. Whatever we do, whether it's taking the piss out of here or, or not, be on your toes, ready for that one touch pass. Go. My name is Luca Fiorini and my role is currently as the incumbent president of EastQ. Uh, my name is Jaden Sharoni, I'm the vice president of EastQ. My name is Julian Delianatis, I'm the operations and marketing manager here at EastQ. We're treated incredibly fortunate here that we've had some great foundations laid by those who were previously at the club, being uh, Van Sirianos and, and the past coaching staff. So they've really set a good foundation for myself and the other committee members to come in and ensure that we can get things running really smoothly from a footballing and an administrative perspective. Across my time here, I've slowly moved from player, maintained the playing, but uh, moved from player into more administrative. So over the past few years, I've done other stuff that weren't as formal for the club, but assisted with promotional aspects, as well as play recruitment. My role is basically just to do a lot of behind the scenes work, keep everything in line and just make sure our socials look great, our website looks great and just like keep everything up to scratch. So our vision for the, for the senior men's program, led by our co-coaches Ahmed and Chris, is to have an incredibly successful season on the pitch that leads to promotion. They're not shying away from the fact that promotion is our goal this year and that's going to be really integral to the club, both on-field and off-field. On-field obviously to continue the, the betterment of our men's program. We're on the up and we're looking at growing to a massive level for the 2024 20, season. The senior team especially is looking very strong. It's looking promising at this rate and hopefully the results show. And a special thank you obviously to our sponsors who are making this documentary and all of what we're doing here at East QFC possible, being the, the Fairfield Medical Centre and also Coazit in Carlton, so thank you to them. Come on boys, you've got to keep encouraging, you've got to keep talking. Ready? Bro, concentrate! Oh, oh, concentrate, mate! Shut up! You're working hard! Nice! Nice! This is the big, big derby, as we have Altona East Phoenix, or commonly known as Park, versus East Q Olympiacos. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's about finding a spot and hitting your target. Anybody that kicks the 10 feet over, we had a good week session, training session I thought. Everything we sort of, our focus, what was our focus, especially Thursday? Communication. Communication. That's going to be vital on a, on a pitch like today. It's about us being as a unit, right? It's all this together. It's one in, all in. Support. Talk. Congratulate, pick up. If someone's not going right, pick them up. Be the first person to tap them on the back. Uh, Darcy and Ruth, we can speak about it every week. Get a good, get a connection happening. If they've got a good striker, a big striker, one of you, I reckon you be the body. You, you make sure he has no room, has no room. Understand which way he turns. Does he turn left, does he turn right? Block that, block that side of him. And be physical. Today is a physical game. On that wing, be an option. Always be that option. If we have possession, you're the one that's got to cut in and get it. Today is about, it's about us. It's, look, the score, I'm not going to say is irrelevant because winning is a habit, success is a habit, and this is where it starts, all right? But what we want to get out of today is get that playing together, get that unity, get that connectedness that we need as a, as a group. Spironi, number seven, Isaac Rosa, nine, 
Just goes wide. And number nine picks it up. Still through the Aquas. There's a pressure that. Oh, nice cross. Oh, oh, just goes oh, over the top. Right. So, what exactly happened is Mark, who's going to claim that that was a shot, <laughs> crossed it and went 30 metres into the air, came down, and we're claiming that it went in. So, Paul put the ball now. Put the ball up out of the back. Oh, the whistle! Guthrie has a shot and an excellent save from the keeper. Jamie Tsufidis. Oh, nice play there by the Olympia Gors team. Julio Nardis with the ball now for Olympia Gors. Breaks through into the box. Oh, he found Ayala, but Ayala's shot goes wide. Breaks for it. Oh. Referee pulled out a yellow card for the captain, Limpiedis. Referee blows his whistle. Jordan has a shot, hits the wall. And Guthrie tried to keep it in, but goes out for a goal kick. Come on, eh? Practice games are about formations and trying something different. Right, we want to get a result out of this. So if it's not happening, we'll give it about five or seven minutes. Their centre backs are probably the worst two centre backs I've seen in, the, in for a long time. I'm serious. No, but the point I'm trying to make is body them, pressure them. When they have possession on their touch, make sure you're there. You'll get it. You nearly got it a couple of times. It's only because they can panic. Right? So with two of you up there, make sure both of their centre backs are occupied and don't have that free run to run. We'll see how we're going. If we're if we pumped a couple in by then, we'll see if we'll just revert to plan C. When we say we may we'll make that change and we'll get the free back. Crosses it in. No, just opportunity here for another goal. Well saved by the keeper again. Great ball there to the number 32. Crosses it back. Yeah. Ah, great goal by Libya, of course. With a goal for scoring Guthrie. There it is. Yeah, but what, what we're doing, we should be that scoring could, more fucking goals. But opportunities, if we weren't creating opportunities, I'd Let, say... Let's make no. great opportunities, let's, 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 you don't score goals, you're going to play. Oh, So the number nine. And he puts it away. Straight down the middle. Always difficult for the goalkeepers to save that. And he's not happy. So, big victory for East Q in the uh, Greek Community Cup of two, 2024. I thought it was pretty quite well, to be honest with you. Considering opposition was um, was a reserves grade opposition, but it still gave us the hit out that we, that we wanted. Uh, our boys worked really hard. It goes to show our fitness uh, off the park. Um, and, and on the park this year has been amazing and the shine obviously in the end we did what we had to do we created plenty of opportunities the scoreline probably would have uh, flattered them a little bit uh, I, thought we, I thought it should have been a lot more than, than obviously what it was but at the end of the day um, we did what we had to do got the first win and we move on to next week Oliver had a really good match on uh, on Sunday. Today gets a lot harder. Look, we're up against Heidelberg, but the boys are looking good. They, they seem to have gelled well. Uh, it was quite a good mix between old and new players. It's really exciting times. Right, Dan. 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 Right, D
Touch, right? We know it's going to be quality, right? How do we negate that? Huh? Absolutely, we've got to be that second second title, right? And when you see that touch, that second touch, on their second touch, you got to go through. Get them, get them off their balance. The pass has to be sharp, short, sharp, and quick. The, the longer it takes, the fucking delay, and they, they're, they're honest and moving. The one thing I, I want to work practice on in this half, we understand what being compact means. Sides that like to play it, everyone tucks in. Everyone tucks in. Let them have it in their back there. Do what they want. But everyone has to tuck in. No balls come through that corridor. But that requires everybody to be mobile and moving and communicating. Out of what we did. We're, we're, this is our third game of the year. They've been training pretty much, their NPL season starts in a couple of weeks. We sort of fell away in the last five minutes, that's what cost us. Maybe a bit of fitness, a bit of structure. Look, walk away from today, we've got a bit, of, bit to work on, but be proud of what we've done, all right? Sunday, today, it was a good effort. It was nil-nil up until the last five minutes, and we just ran out a bit of puff and a bit of structure. Head up, and we've Finish this tournament off properly on Sunday, yeah? Recover well. All right, well done, boys. Well done, boys. <laughs> yeah, well done. <laughs> this is the one, the only, the Wilsmere Wonderland, the home of East Q. Has been the home of East Q for many years in the past. The ground we love as players and the ground we love as the club, but is also to our detriment at times. The pitch looks deceiving at the moment. It looks, looks all right. It's a bit heavy still, but give it four months. Yeah, four months and it'll be pretty shocking. Uh, playground over there, blocks off half the pitch. Uh, got a tree in the way. This pavilion's pretty pointless coming from a 
spectator's point of view, if I'm honest. Uh, last year during the winter was an absolute mud bath, as you'll see from some of the photos. Make sure you sign the petition to fix Will's Mill. Mr. Donato, please explain to us what we have here today. Uh, it's my new bike. I don't want to do this, bro. <laughs> Get away from me. New signing, James Ciccone. Uh, obviously been watching the past three games in the Great Cup. What are your thoughts so far? Um, uh, I think the first game was pretty good. Got the result, I think it was 2-0. And then on... 3 Three nil. Sorry about that. And then Thursday night, I think we got a bit unlucky against Heidelberg, but um, it's exciting because we've still got players that are still out. And you know, once we've got our full squad shaped in, I think we'll be really strong and really exciting to watch. So it was a lot of promising things to take away from it. And are you excited to make your debut uh, tomorrow? Yeah, no, re really excited, really keen to make the debut for SQ. Can't wait, but um, you'll be a lot more excited once the season comes in and points start gathering in. Beautiful. Just missed a penalty. He just got asked to come off, but he doesn't want to. So hopefully, fucking, hopefully, he turns it on. Now. One thing that'll help us going going with the win. The one thing that's killed us, Jay Demott, is it? Not really. Yeah. This time to get ready. Trust me. The last ten minutes of that half, they weren't getting into position and transitioning as well as they should have. Not question the energy, the intent, the physicality. Look, trust me, that referee. Let's wipe him out of our head. I'm gonna, I'm gonna zip it because it's not doing us any, any favors. And retaliating ain't gonna help. Let's be composed. Let's one move the ball quicker. Spread when we got it. We're doing it beautifully. We're doing a lot of good things. Now the, the, the icing on the cake is putting the score on the board. Yeah. Reset. Recuperate. Get yourselves in that mind, the right mindset. That's gonna win us this game. Yeah. yeah. Let's talk about that red card. Um, if I'm honest, if we watch the video back, I pulled him back first, and he pulled me, and I laughed in his face. 
Nice. Yeah, so I was through on goal. Like, I could have easily scored. I see this guy coming behind me. I start running. He's pulled my shirt. I've got this massive scratch here like a tiger. And now, <laughs> now I'm cooked. Oh, there's a tiger. Like a tiger. Like a tiger. <sighs> played, we played well as a team. We just couldn't finish. Like, everything, the two-thirds, up until the final third, we couldn't finish. Yeah, well, it was just a frustrating game to watch from the sideline, mm -hmm. I'll be honest. Um, just, like, a lot more... Like, the wind probably fucked us a lot. Yeah. I can't lie. Well, I, that's not an excuse, but it's just, like, there's balls that, you know, we'd usually play. Like, we're just all overhitting them, not judging by the wind. Jay? Mm -hmm. No, honestly, we just need to appreciate Lucas Sirianis here. He's behind the camera. You don't see him, but like he's working day in, day out. He's even got another employee now. He's coming sometimes to film as well. So we've got two cameras, but like the work he puts in, it's unbelievable. Shout out Lucas Sirianis. Julian Dillianis was, you know, greatly missed today. Yeah, and um, we hope to see you back in action. Uh, yeah, injury. So, yeah, it was, it was greatly missed and it'd be great to see him back in action. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see when my, my hamstring comes back. And I'm back from six. Excuse me? 